Hello everybody, it's Gone Turbo here. This is Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One. In today's video, I want to do a little bit of a gameplay and also, more importantly, highlight a couple of cool candle mods for those candle lovers out there. These actually are pretty cool. Um, we have Lanterns and Candles Special Edition, about 7 megabytes, and uh, this allows you to craft and place light sources and candles using troll fat, mammoth snout, horker meat, or beehive husk. You can create candles at any cook pot, and at a forge you can use um, ingots and empty bottles to create candelabras and um, candlesticks, and then put these around your home or wherever you see fit. Another mod I wanted to sh just show off briefly is Candle Glow. This is a very small mod that uh, adds a glare effect to the candles on Skyrim. So let's take a look here. We are in Bree's home and uh, you might be able to see with this example here, this candle, how it has a bit of a glare coming off to the side, kind of at a diagonal. That's what that one particular mod does. Uh, let's see if I have another example. So these here you can see a little bit of the glare perhaps. Let's see if these show. A little bit better example over here because it's darker. You can see the glare coming off of those candles. That's what that second mod does. It's a neat little effect. What I really wanted to show you guys is how to craft candles. Right here on the hearth I have a candle that I have crafted and you can see that I can activate it to turn on and off and it does affect the light around the area that it is a uh, present. I also have one over here. You can see I can, uh, let's get to it right, and I can, where are we going here? Come on. Is a lot of, okay, activate candle. There we go. So when I'm having a little bit of a salmon dinner, <laughs> a little salmon steak, I can see what I'm eating. Alright, anyway, so to craft candles, you go over to your cooking pot and uh, with some of those materials mentioned, go down to miscellaneous and you can see that you can craft candles using troll fat, beehive husk, mammoth snout, or horker meat. So I'm going to craft a candle here, simply, with beehive husk. I'm going to add, we'll add two there, why not? And uh, I now have in my inventory candles. Actually I have five because I was playing with this a little bit earlier. Now, you can't do anything with these. You can't place these and light them. You have to actually put them in a stand or holder. Now I have another example of a candle on a stand that I created. I'm having a conflict with this one though. When I place it somewhere it kind of floats. So I'm not sure if it's conflicting with another mod. I've tried it indoors and outdoors. I've got it to work just a couple of times properly outdoors, but uh, it's a little bit temperamental. But as you can see, some of these other ones like this and the one on the end table have worked fine. And uh, you can move them. If you do it properly, whoops, I'm just going <laughs> to... I can hold it and I can take it. And I took the bottle also. Candle on a stand, it's right here. I can drop it. The cool thing about this mod is that they do stop place uh, properly when you when you place them they kind of flop right side up let's stick it on into the table here all right now to illuminate it you actually what I found is that if you press a and approach it let's see if it works ah, shoot it took it. oh yeah there it goes all right you press a back here hold a and when my cursor hits the candle it'll kind of uh, make it static right there and allow it to be activated so there, now I can eat more salmon steak at the table or a apple dumpling. Pretty neat. So down here in my Breeze home, Hearthfire mod, this is in some way, uh, I have a forge. Um, and you at the forge can make, let's see. <laughs> is it under iron? 
No, under iron. It might be under, let's see, miscellaneous? Aha, under miscellaneous. You can use different objects to make the candle holder. So, we are going to need, uh, let's see, you can also do um, like on a plate, in a bowl, ironing in a pyramid candle. You can also craft uh, silver candlesticks. Ooh, let's create a silver candlestick and see, cross our fingers, if it works. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, Sovereign Guard candle, a little bit of gold. Let's try it. Silver candlestick. Here we go. Let's do, uh, oh, let's do this one. No, wait. I don't know. Let's do this one. Yes, silver candlestick added. All right. Let's see if we can place it somewhere. Let's cross our fingers that this works. All right, a little my inventory. Civil candlestick, I'm gonna drop it. Oh, it's beautiful. I did a nice job. Place it. Press A, approach it. It's a little tricky to do. Let go of A. Press A again to activate. Ah, that is a thing of beauty. It illuminates pretty well. And the mod of the shiny candle effect is present. Fantastic. That's pretty cool, huh? So, you could essentially, in a player home or even outdoors, create and place candles wherever you would like. Um, you know, you could put a whole bunch of candles somewhere and have this cool looking candle seance or something. I don't know. Uh, but it's pretty cool, huh? Anyway, folks, I thought I would share this with you. Um, and I hope you like it. I'm going to pick up this candle. Whoops. Okay, I put it out. I got to hold. I gotta hold A. Whoa, I almost took the dumpling. Oh, I took the plate though. Oh well. Put the candle back where I got it, where I had it. I drop it. I put it on my end table. There you go. There you go, Lydia. Now you can see what you're doing. All right, folks. Well, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon.